As we begin Parshas Peshach, the Jewish people have just witnessed the miracles of leaving Egypt. They are now heading towards Har Sinai to receive the Torah. In between, however, lies a cosmic event, Kriyas Yamsuf, the splitting of the sea. However, the commentaries point out that this journey through the Yamsuf appears to be pointless. After all, the Midrash explains that Klai Yisrael exited on the very same side that they entered. And if Hashem simply wanted to destroy the Egyptians, there were plenty of far easier ways to accomplish this. So what was the purpose of such a journey? But the answer lies in understanding the true nature of Yitzhiya Mitzrayim and the significance of water. The Maharal explains that the fundamental nature of water is that it's formless. Water has no form of its own. It takes on the shape of its container. And this is because water represents the initial stage of every creative process. Before something becomes expressed and takes on form and acquires shape, it resides in a formless and amorphous state. And only afterwards does a physical form emerge. And this is why during the original creation of the world, the Torah tells us that initially there was only water. And only afterwards did the dry land emerge from the water. And just as the creation of the physical world emerged from formless water, so to each of us have our own creation story, and therefore emerge from our own waters, the amniotic fluids in the womb. And the Maharal explains that this is why the Jewish people had to immerse themselves in the waters of the Yamsa from leaving Mitzrayim. This was the creation and birth of the Jewish people. Just as the creation of the world emerged from water, the Jewish people had to be born from water as well. They entered the water as individuals, but emerged reborn as a nation. It was a spiritual metamorphosis, an existential transition. It was the birth of a people. And every day we get to wake up reborn as well and start anew. Every day we get to choose who we are, what we believe in, how we're going to live our lives. Each morning we get to create our identity. This year when we read about Kriyas Yamsuf, will we be inspired to undergo a genuine rebirth in our own personal lives, to create even more empowering identity and to commit to living a truly extraordinary life.